Hello everyone, we will continue the topic multiple file handling of AL11 directory and in the previous video, we simply provided the success and the error message. Then after that, once a file is processed, we simply simply moved it to a different directory and this is our new directory. This is our new directory. We simply opened that particular file. We simply transfer the data to that file and then we simply simply close that. Now we will proceed further. We'll go for a few changes and then we will understand each and everything in that debugging mode. So first part of the requirement, what we did, we simply, simply read that data. We simply saved into database table. After that, we simply moved this particular file with the data into a different directory. Third part, we need to now delete also from this particular directory. So how we will delete? I will go for delete data set statement. Once everything process, now I will write delete. Delete data set. Delete data set. What is the data set name? LV underscore file name. File name. Do not go for a file name. We are not going for a file name. A file name is new one. New one. We are not going to delete that one. We are going to delete the file from the previous directory. This one. This one. This one we want. This one. So we simply return delete data set lb underscore file. Name. This close data set statement by mistake it is it is now at the last i will put it at proper place this is open this is read now i will simply delete so i will simply close so we are opening reading and closing now if data is in this internal table we are simply inserting we have now delete now, if data is in this internal table, we'll simply, simply close here itself. Based upon that, we are going for database operation. If data is in employee internal table, we are inserting and giving error or success message. Rest part should always execute. Now we will go for last important step. Now, LT underscore EMP, this is an internal table which has the employee data. Suppose first time file processed, yes. Next time new file will come, but there should not be any previous data into this internal table. So we need to simply, simply refresh this internal table. So I will go for refresh. Once everything is there, everything is done, we'll simply write refresh LT underscore EMP. Anyways, real things will come whenever we'll simply try in that debugging mode. And you can see lots of nesting ifs is there. Yes, we have lots of nesting if lots of conditions are there into this particular logic. Now we will simply check in that debugging mode will go for each and every step one by one and we will see how our logic is right. Now I will put a breakpoint. And from the starting itself, we'll see how this logic is right. I'm running this in the debugging mode. This is our directory. Desktop 3, most preferable desktop. If any confusion is there, it will be now be cleared in that debugging mode. So now this directory path, we are passing it to this particular variable. Whenever this function module will execute, it will return the files into this directory. 
now we have one one two five but we only require these two files we only require these last two files so what we did we simply deleted the files where there is no pattern emp star done so now we have only two files now we are going for first file so what is our file name this is our file name this is our directory path we are concatenating and this is our full we need to go for full path yes now we are opening this path then size of our c0 now we are reading that data into this one by one this is our first we see yes this is our first firstly it is reading this this is our yes it will read the records one by one now from this particular file we are reading the first record first record will go to lv underscore string now you can see id hash name age city this is anyways title yes now size of rc0 we are splitting we are splitting at what just see whenever i will double click you can see what is the value of this hash because we gave tab tab so we are splitting and we are passing it to four variables these are your four variables anyways there is nothing to do with this particular four titles forget about this a g c t because anyways we are deleting this because length is short that's why it's, it is not taking fully we are passing it to work area from work area we are appending it to internal table now you can see lt emp one record is there into this internal table one record. anyways we are deleting this it's not required now it will go to second we have put a do loop that's why it is going for second now it will read the second record size of rc0 we are again splitting now you can see after split employee id if i will simply go employee id employee name employee age employee location you can see now we are passing it to work area from work area it will go to internal table now we have second record into this internal table that. now same way third record fourth record now it will go to third record size of rc0 now you can see into this internal table now we have third record now you can see we have fourth record now i just want to show you exit now you can see four records into this internal table first no significance now we will go to next now you can see we have the fifth record that five records now i will show you the important part now there is nothing to read so whenever this read will execute you can see size sub rc other than zero if size sub rc other than zero we need to exit from the loop because now there is no need to go for further that now our do loop done now we are simply closing the file now into this internal table we have five records but first record we must delete now you can see this internal table has four records it should go to database table now we are inserting to database table size sub rc0 it means four records inserted successfully we are going for success message we are going for a message file inserted successfully that now we need to move it to a different directory now yes 
so we are concatenating suppose this is our new directory into this directory this is the file name and we are concatenating lv underscore a file name this is full now we are opening for output because now we need to write the data you can see size sub rc0 it means everything is fine now into this internal table we have four records so now we need to transfer these four records to this. So we are going for concatenate. You can see after concatenation, this is our first record. Yes. Now we are transferring that. Second record, third record. Now we have fourth record. That. So all four records transferred. Now, after this, we are simply closing. Because done, transfer part done. Now we need to delete this file. Whatever the file is in the temp directory, we are deleting and we are refreshing. So first part done. Now the major thing will come whenever we will process the second file. At that time, we'll see, is there anything which has not refreshed? Now, now it's a turn for the second file. Now you can see this is the second file Ahmedabad. Now this is our full. It is opening up to this level perfectly fine zero. Now it is reading the data. It is reading the data of this particular file. Now. This one. Now this one. Now it will read one by one split. Now data will go to this internal table LTEMP. Done. Now I will simply simply check. I will put a breakpoint here because anyways I already explained for the previous file. Now into this internal table we have five records. Everything is fine. Yes. Employee ID 1, 2, 3, 4. If internal table not initial, yes. We are deleting the first record because title not required. Now insert is again successful because 1, 2, 4 employee ID are there. Now we gave a success message. Now we are moving this file also. Now if we see, is this right? Yes, this is right. Now we are opening. Size sub RC perfectly fine. We are transferring these four records. Then we are closing. This loop will continue four times. We are closing. We are deleting. We are refreshing. This is now the major thing is now we need to verify the output. We'll see if we will go for slash TMP directory. There should not be any file now. If I will go for last change, because both files now moved to archive. Perfectly fine. Now it must be in a new directory. This is our new directory. You can see both. This is Ahmedabad. Done. Perfectly fine. This is our Bangalore. Perfectly done. Data must be in database table. If we'll see. If we'll go to contents. Perfectly fine. So what is the summary of this particular video? One of the important commonly used requirement of the project, yes. And the best part is those who are not good at logical building, they can try because you need to go for developing small, small parts of the requirement. 
how you will read the files, how you will transfer the data, how you will save into database table, then how you will move the data to different directory, how you will delete from the previous directory. So small, small parts will increase your confidence only. So into this particular video, what we did, we did some two to three important steps into this particular video. Firstly, we have written a delete statement. This delete statement will delete the data, delete the file from the previous directory. After that, do not forget to refresh the data internal table, otherwise data will simply accumulate. Yes. Now, whatever the closed data set statement was there, I simply moved because while writing the logic, it shifted to the last. So I just simply moved along with this read data set statement. And I simply close the if statement here itself. Because if data is there, database operation needs to be closed there itself. And then we understood each and everything in that debugging mode. We verified the output and it is perfectly fine. So that's it in this video. Thank you.